What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to tweak the look and functionality of the Android lock screen. This can all be done with a single exposed module from developer Hamzar Malik, so you'll obviously need to be rooted with the exposed framework installed to get this going. And if you need help with those requirements, you can check out the full tutorial at the link in the description below. But the module is called Lock Screen Tweak Box, so head to the download section of your exposed installer app and search it by name. From here, tap the top result, then swipe over to the versions tab and hit the download button on the most recent entry. After a few seconds, Android's installer interface should come right up. So hit install on this screen. Then when that's finished, you'll get a notification from Exposed telling you that the module isn't activated yet and a reboot is needed. Just tap the activate and reboot button on this notification to take care of both things at once. Okay, so now that we're back up, just open lock screen tweak box from your app drawer to check out some of the options. Really, a lot of these are most useful if you have some sort of lock screen security enabled on your phone. For instance, there's unlimited attempts which lets you try to enter your pin or pattern more than five times without being locked out for 30 seconds. Hide Alarm will remove the upcoming alarm icon from your lock screen, regardless of if you use security or not. But Hide Emergency removes the emergency call button from the bottom of the secure lock screen. Then, you can even change the background of your lock screen. The first option will let you fill it with a solid color, and you can use the menu that shows up to either enter a hex value or choose your color from the list. You can also just replace the lock screen background with a specific picture using this option. Finally, down at the bottom there are a couple of options for the status bar. First, you can force the notification panel to be accessible even with lock screen security enabled. Then after that, you can opt to show the clock in the status bar, which is normally hidden by default. Once you've made all your changes, just hit the three dot menu button up top and select Reboot System. It'll ask for super user privileges at this point, so grant it those and your phone will automatically reboot. When you get back up, your lock screen tweaks will be in effect. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.